you guys. Welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. You knew you were showing up with me, that's why you are here. Um, if you are brand new, today, the very first class in 2021 with you guys, will be an absolute beginner class. So if you've never done yoga, this is the one for you. Um, we'll go really slow. It'll be at a much slower pace than any of my other classes have been, just to help you guys really get into the practice of understanding the positions, understanding the moves, and truly learning to embrace that slowing down, noticing, and going inward. So, you guys should have your mat. If you don't already, get a water and get yourself a pillow. It's gonna be really beneficial for you. And I will meet you back on the mat. Come on down into a nice comfortable seat. If you got that water, you can go ahead and take a sip of it right now. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Maybe you can start by just taking one giant breath in and exhale, letting it all go. Good. Now get yourself set up in a nice comfortable position, whether that is your legs are crossed or your legs are extended. All we really want to make sure is that our spine is nice and tall. And if you want to go ahead and set your watches because you're into that kind of thing, go for it. And then whenever you're ready, just bring your hands into your lap in a comfortable position. Again, sitting up tall, and I invite you to go ahead and close your eyes. Just focus on that breathing. Inhaling in through the nose, and out. And keep that breath going in and out through the nose, and just begin noticing where you're already holding in that tension. Maybe you're clenching your teeth. Maybe you're feeling that tightness in your neck or your shoulders are lifted to your ears. Maybe you're clenching in your toes or feeling that tightness in your low back. Just take a moment to acknowledge what is going on and just actively allow yourself to relax, to be grounded into our mat, sitting up nice and tall. Take another big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Biggest breath you've taken all morning, in and out. Great, just keep that big breath in and out going. And this is the hardest part, sitting here in stillness, trying to calm your mind, trying to relax your body. And if you're brand new to yoga, this takes time. It's not something that you're good at right away. And I'm not asking you to shut your thoughts off, but instead just focus on your breath. Let those thoughts pass on by. Notice where you're holding in that tension and just be still as we focus on our breathing. Inhale in through the nose and out. Notice if you're rounding through your spine. Make sure we're nice and straight. Maybe even bring a little smile onto your lips. Tell yourself you're proud of yourself for even showing up today. And step one in completely changing your life. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, let it go through the mouth this time. One more just like that in. And out. Great. You can keep your eyes closed or open them, but in the next inhale, I want you to lift your arms all the way up and send your gaze towards the ceiling. Bring those palms together, really press palm into palm and lift through that chest here. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, float your hands down to your sides and tuck your chin right into your chest. Feeling that lengthening through the back side of your neck, making sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. This time, bring your hands together, interlace your fingers, and point your index fingers to the sky. Even bigger stretch this time. And exhale, release, hands down, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen. 
This time as we exhale, we're only going to release that right hand down, palm onto the mat, left arm extended, and I want you to lean to the right side. Now if this is too much for your arms, you can bring your hand right onto your shoulder cap and continue lifting that left side of your rib cage towards the ceiling here. Focusing on that breathing, turning your chest towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to hold this here for a couple breaths, and I invite you to come down on your forearm. If it's not available, don't do it. Listen to your body. It's going to tell you what you can and cannot do. So if when you came down into that forearm, your left side really lifted up, come back up onto your hand. Focus on those big inhales. Feel your ribs expand. And exhale, let it go. One more breath here. In. And out. Inhale, come all the way back up to center. Press those palms into one another and lengthen. Exhale, float your hands down to your side. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lifting those arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms towards the sky this time. Press your palms all the way high. And exhale, release chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen all the way up. And exhale, release just that left hand down this time. Lean to the right. Again, finding your arm position that's going to be comfortable for you. Notice I dropped my elbow there just slightly to relieve any compression from the shoulder. I want you to really pull that right rib cage towards the right wall and breathe deep. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. Turn your chest towards the sky. One more big breath in, and out. Great, inhale, arms all the way back up, look up, big stretch. And exhale, sink them down to your side. Great, inhale, I want you to sweep both of your hands forward, palms together, pointing towards the wall in front of you. Take a big breath in, and on an exhale, glide your right hand across your body, opening it up to the wall behind you, and then look over that right shoulder. Part your lips, allowing your neck to relax, your jaw to relax, releasing that tension in your upper body. And notice if your shoulders are creeping up to your ears. Just relax them down. Focus on that breathing. Big inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. In. And as we exhale, bring that right hand forward, meeting it to the left. Big breath. In. Exhale, glide that left arm across your body this time, opening it up to the back wall. Look over that left shoulder. Part your lips just slightly. Make sure we're breathing, we're sitting up tall. Notice what's going on in your body. Maybe you're noticing more tension. Maybe you're even noticing a little shake in your legs or even in your arms. It's okay. Signs that your body is beginning to grow. Big inhale, and exhale. Inhale, bring that left arm forward. Release your hands all the way down to your hips. Take a big breath in here, and out. Great, inhale, we're gonna lift our shoulders up to our ears. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale. One more, in and out. Great job. We're gonna come on to all fours. So bring your knees, stacking them underneath of your hips, your wrists stacked directly underneath of your shoulders here, and keep the tops of your feet flat down onto the mat. Make sure our back is nice and neutral. We're not arching in our spine either way. Nice and flat back here. Take a big breath in and out. Great. Inhale, we're going to drop the belly, lift our chest, send your gaze forward, and lift your hips to the sky. Feel your shoulder blades rolling around your back, trying to kiss into the center. Take a big breath in here. And as we exhale, you're going to pull your belly button towards the sky, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone under as we move through our cat cows. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. Slow movements articulating through the spine. 
and exhale, round, going into our cow pose. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. One more, in, and out. Great job. Go ahead and open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes into touch, and then slow and steady, start to sink your heels towards your hips. You can walk your hands forward and begin to lower your chest and even your forehead down to the mat. Now, if you can't make it all the way, if you have a pillow, that's a great landing spot. You can put it underneath of your chest. You can stack your wrists to place your forehead on. Just find those small modifications that you can do to just help your body ease into these poses. Close your eyes wherever you land and just take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose. We'll use this time to just find a moment to surrender. Listen to your body. Acknowledge what thoughts are going through your mind. And maybe this is the time to use an affirmation to help you through the practice. Maybe it's, I am strong, I am determined, I am powerful, I can heal. Whatever it is that is right for you, I want you to repeat that in your mind right now. I want you to bring a smile onto your lips and think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. And you'll notice we'll spend a lot of time just finding those moments, those things to remind us what we're grateful for. Because when we can start to acknowledge the good things that are going on in our life, everything else that comes from that is only going to be positive. We start to notice those negative things a little less each day. So with that, bring a big inhale and come on up into our tabletop position. Knees under your hips, wrists underneath of your shoulders, nice flat back here. I want you to go ahead and curl your toes under this time. Take a big inhale. And on an exhale, I want you to press into your toes and begin to lift your hips all the way up to the sky. You can have a nice big bend in your knees. Start to sink your chest towards your thighs here. Really press into both of your hands evenly and turn your biceps so they're facing your ears. And slowly just try to lower your heels as much as you can, listening to your body inviting that little extra stretch as needed. Maybe you pedal through your feet, lifting one heel and then the other. Or you just stand here in stillness, allowing your body to get acclimated to this pose. You can close your eyes for one breath. Inhale, exhale. Great, open your eyes, bend your knees, and on that inhale, look forward. And exhale, slow and controlled, begin to walk yourself to the top of your mat. Bring those toes right next to one another, heels right next to one another. And then slow and controlled, bend deeply at your knees and release your upper body over your lower body, tucking your chin right into your chest, draping your arms down onto the mat, or letting them hang if you can't reach, that's okay. Just allow yourself to let go. Take a big breath in and out. One more breath here. Inhale, exhale. Great job. With that next inhale, we're gonna glide our hands up to our thighs 
straighten through your legs, straighten through your upper back like you're the figure of seven, and just send your gaze out past your nose. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, release your upper body over your lower body, coming back into that forward fold. Chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen, gliding ourselves back up into that halfway lift. And exhale, fold. And with that next inhale, I want you to really press your feet into your mat. And slow and controlled, we're going to roll all the way up to standing. Go even slower than you would think. First, straightening through the legs, pressing your hips forward, rolling through the low back, the mid back, upper back, looping those shoulders up, back and down, and finally rolling up through the crown of your head, standing here nice and tall, spread your fingertips nice and wide, really pointing them towards the floor. Take a big breath in and out. I want you to just notice where you're hitting the ground with your feet. Is that pressure into the balls of your feet or into your heels? Just take a moment to kind of sway side to side, forward and back, challenging your balance here. And then come back into the center, really press your heels into the ground. Take a big breath in, standing up nice and tall. And exhale, let it go. Great, we're gonna bend those knees, drop your hands down, and on an inhale, stand all the way up, drawing a big circle with your hands. Arms come overhead, and give me just a slight back bend here. And as we exhale, bring those hands forward, forward fold. Hips go high, knees can be bent. Tuck that chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen into our halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees, big circle as we stand all the way back up. Hands overhead, slight back bend. Bring those palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart. Close your eyes, take a breath in and out. Great job. Inhale, big circle, arms go high. Exhale, forward fold. I want you to plant those palms down. Step one foot back and then the other shifting into a plank position. Now, if this is too much for you, drop down onto your knees. Just make sure we keep a nice flat back and keep those wrists directly under your shoulders. So we're gonna hang out here for about five breaths. So really just focus on big inhale and exhale, pulling your belly button into your spine. Really just focusing on that breathing, pressing into the palms of your hand, Sending your heels towards that back wall, trying to lengthen through your legs the best you can. One more breath here, in. And on an exhale, we're gonna keep our elbows into our sides as we slowly lower all the way down. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, press into your hands. We're gonna lift our entire upper body away from the floor, straightening through your arms, looping those shoulders down your back and clenching through your butt cheeks here. Really keep that low back nice and stable. Take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna flip our toes under, send our hips all the way up, downward facing dog. Again, you can have your heels lifted if you need to, or even a bend in your knees. Sink your chest towards your thighs. Big breath in, and out. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Bend those knees. Inhale. Look forward. Step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. And come back into that forward fold, snuggling your toes and your heels right next to one another. Chin into your chest. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Bend those knees, big circle, all the way up. I want you to interlace your fingers at the top. Turn your palms towards the sky. Big stretch here. And as we exhale, release that bind. Bring your hands behind your back. And again, I want you to interlace your fingers here. If you can get palm to palm, that's great. Otherwise, open your palms up here. 
Loop those shoulders back and down your spine, lifting through your chest. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, draw your knuckles towards your mat. Really getting this big stretch through your heart here. You can look towards the sky. Take one more big inhale. And on the exhale, keeping the bind, if it's comfortable, if it's not, release. Send your hips to the back wall. Send your chest forward, coming into our halfway lift. Inhale. And as we exhale, forward fold, staying in that bind if it's available. If not, release and let your hands come down to the ground. Chin to chest. One more breath here. In. And on that exhale, slow and controlled. Release from that bind. Bring your hands down to the floor. Big bend in your knees. Plant those palms. We're going to step the opposite foot back this time. Followed by the other, shifting into our plank position. Take a big breath in, and this time on that exhale, keep those elbows into your side. Come all the way down to our bellies. Flip the toes, inhale, press into your hands, lift that upper body away from the floor, squeeze through the glutes, lower your shoulders, take a big breath in here. One more, in, and on an exhale, begin to send your hips to your heels coming into our child's pose. You can open your knees as wide as the mat, and again, release that forehead all the way down. Taking that moment to surrender, allowing your heart rate to come to a nice steady beat, and letting your breath come back to a normal rhythm, in and out through the nose. Close your eyes if you haven't already, and just use this time to just be still, be present, and just breathe. Again, you can thank yourself right now for showing up today, getting this far into our practice. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for, whether it's from today or yesterday. Just bring that thought right to the forefront. With that next inhale, find your flow back to our tabletop position. Knees under your hips, wrists under your shoulders. Go ahead and curl those toes under. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, lift your hips all the way up. Chest sinks towards your thighs. You can see if you can lengthen through your heels a little bit more here. If not, that's okay. This is your first class. It will come with time. The more you show up, the more your body allows itself to stretch and to expand both your body and your mind. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bend those knees. Look forward. Step all the way to the front of your mat. Snuggling your toes in towards one another. Heels kiss. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees. Big circle as we stand all the way up. And as we exhale, forward fold. Great. I want you to step just that left foot back, as far back as you can, and then shift your body weight forward, making sure that this front knee is directly over that front ankle. If you have to move your foot at all, that is okay. Take that left hip, Roll it down towards your mat, keeping your hips parallel to the floor. And if you need to, you can lower onto that back knee. How about everyone? Let's just all do it. Lower that back knee. Go ahead and plant the top of your foot down. Take a big breath in, send your chest forward. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, really squeeze your thighs in towards one another. And then lift your arms all the way up overhead. Really press into the front foot here, keeping your balance. And again, if it's too much on your arms to lift them overhead, 
Bring them right here into the center, keeping your shoulders with no compression. Just really lift through that chest. Take a big breath in and out. See if you can sink a little farther forward in your hips. No overdoing it. Your body will yell at you later. Just do what you can right now. One more big inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to plant our palms down. Really press into that left hand. Inhale. We're going to open that right arm up to the sky. Focusing on your breathing here. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In. And on an exhale, you're going to release that right hand down. We're going to shift our hips towards our heels, straightening through that front leg, keeping your back hip over this knee here. And then when you're ready, tuck those front toes in towards your nose and just lengthen through your chest here. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Feeling that stretch through the front leg. You can have a deep bend here if you need. You'll listen to your body. Find what you're capable of doing right now. Take one more big inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to roll through that front foot, curl your back toes under, lift your knee away from the ground, step your left foot up to meet your right forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms, step your right foot back this time as far back as you can go, aligning that front knee over the ankle. And then when you're ready, release that back knee all the way down. Flip your toes. Take a big breath in. And out. Great. Inhale. Squeeze those legs in towards one another. Lift your arms all the way up. Crescent lunge. Focus on that breathing. Making sure your hips are level with the front edge of your mat. One more breath here. And as we exhale, we're going to plant that right hand down. Inhale, open up that left arm. Big twist in your spine. Focus on that breathing. Inhaling in. And out. Even bigger breath. Exhale, let it go. One more here. And with that exhale, release that left arm down. Send your hips towards your heels. Curl your front toes up towards your nose. And just relax your chin towards your chest. Inhale, lengthen, sending your body forward, lifting through that chest. Exhale, chin to chest. One more. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, chin to chest. Great. We're going to roll through that front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift your knee away from the floor. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. I want you to cross one leg behind the other. And we're going to slowly control, come all the way down to a seat. As gracefully as you possibly can. We're going to extend our legs long out in front of us. And our legs have the tendency to want to roll open to the outer edges. So we're going to pull our big toes in towards the center, towards one another. Plant your palms right next to your hips, and if you're rounding in your spine, I want you to sit up as tall as you can. Focusing on that breathing, really loop those shoulders back, down, and around your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift your arms all the way up. Exhale. We're going to bend from our hips, not the middle of our back, and shift your body weight forward, releasing your hands maybe onto the shins. Maybe you can get to the ankles. In times, you'll be able to get to the bottoms of your feet. And again, we're only bending from our hips here. And wherever you land, tuck your chin into your chest, feeling that deep stretch all the way from your head down to your heels. Just focusing on that breathing. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can sink just a little deeper into the pose. One more breath here. In. And as we exhale, we're going to slow and control, roll all the way back up into that seated position. I want you to go ahead and plant one foot and then the other. 
extend your arms out in front of you. Take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to slow and control. Release all the way down to the mat. Arms extend overhead. Get a big stretch here. And as we exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Catch your shins with your hands. And maybe find a little rock side to side. And just take a moment to breathe. And then come back into our center. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Great. I want you to go ahead and release that left leg down. You're going to take left hand to right knee. And then your right knee is going to come to the left side of the mat. Take your right hand back behind you, palm facing the sky. And then look towards the right hand. Trying to keep your right shoulder blade down onto the mat. Big breath in. And exhale, sinking a little deeper into that twist. Notice if you're clenching in your jaw, part your lips just slightly. One more big breath in here. And out. Great, roll back to center, pulling both knees into your chest. Find a little rock, front and back, or side to side. And come back into the center. Maybe take a second and spiral through both of your feet. One way and then the other. And when you're ready, go ahead and release that right leg down. Right hand comes to the left knee. Left arm falls to the ground, palm open to the sky. Knee goes to the right side of your mat. Look towards your left fingers this time, keeping that left shoulder blade down onto the mat. Take a big breath in. And now, bring a smile onto your lips. One more big inhale. And exhale. Great. Inhale. Come back to center. Both knees into your chest. Find that little rock in whichever direction feels comfortable to you. And I want you to just go ahead and plant your heels down onto the floor. And then we'll extend one leg long, followed by the other. Allowing your hands to just fall open to the floor. Palms open to the sky. We've made it, you guys. Into our final resting pose, we come into Savasana. And this is our time to really practice our stillness in your body, your mind, and just really focus on that breath. It's okay if your mind starts to wander. Just use your breath to come back into the body. So we're going to take a big inhale right now, in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. One more, just like that, big breath in. Exhale, let it all out. Great. Close your eyes. Let that breath come in and out through the nose. And I want you to focus on one more thing that you're grateful for from today. And just breathe. And with that next inhale, find small movements in the body. Begin waking yourself back up. Maybe moving your toes, rocking your hands, opening your eyes, batting those eyelashes. And then when you're ready, you can either roll onto your side or you can slow and control. Come all the way up, sitting up nice and tall, crossing your legs, fixing your clothes, of course. And bring your hands into your lap. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big breath in through the nose. And out. 
tell yourself you're so proud of yourself right now for showing up today, making this commitment for you, whether it's gaining flexibility, easing pain in your body, easing pain in your mind, right? You should be so proud of yourself for showing up today, and I hope you show up next week as well. So with that, take one more big breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Elbows go wide. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. And on an exhale, we all say namaste, which just means the light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. Bow forward. Thank you guys so much for showing up this morning. I hope you are feeling a little bit better in whatever reason it was that drew you to this class. Um, remember, invite your friends, invite your family. If you're catching this on uh, YouTube later and you haven't subscribed, do that. If you're new to the group, go subscribe over to the YouTube. You can catch all of these sessions in the class for just a little while or in the group, and then they all later go on to the YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are amazing. You're starting your year off exactly as it is meant to be. I'm so proud of you guys, and you have a great day. Bye.